Yep. Uh, we're located between Knidos and the Greek island of Kos. It's a Byzantine wreck uh, from the 5th to 6th century uh, AD, which were dated from uh, the type of yeah, infrared that are on HD the wreck. All the way in. See that yeah. first one that's presenting itself? Yeah. Why right don't you uh, grab that one? Roger. No. Uh, now that, see that smaller one? When you get down with this one, I see a smaller one sticking out of the mud to the upper right. Right here. Sort of cool. Uh, Mike, let us know when you've frame yeah. grabbed. We uh, wanna, I've been grabbing um, uh, it's right by far a smaller it's guy. Oh, uh, maybe so. It's a different shape. Maybe. Looks smaller. Okay, zoom in a little bit. Although it has a big handle. Probably is. Uh, Amphora is normally contained uh, olive oil or wine. Or uh, sometimes a, a fish sauce. They, they found fish bones in one that they found in the Black Sea off of Bulgaria. Yeah, um, and then garum, which is a so sort of a fish guts. But normally wine or olive oil. Um, but we sometimes they've found ambers that are still sealed. But All right. So, Bob, this is our fourth dive to this wreck site. Yeah. So I think it's probably a good idea to do a, like a perimeter survey and look for further damage. Uh, these these yeah, are, yeah. Uh, ambers are pretty well dated. We're yeah, yeah. secure in that. All right, well, let's run around, particularly on the other side. If you just do a, a perimeter run and you can pick which way you like based upon your tether, I think coming to the right counterclockwise might be easier to manage. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of these were like, you know, bulk carriers. It's like, you know, the, the Budweiser truck, you know, down. it's full of Budweiser. Go ahead, Alex. Uh, but what you try to do is find the personal quarters, the part of the ship, generally the stern, in fact, almost always the stern, where people lived. And that's where you find diversity. You'll find smaller, uh, commonly, we the other day, we found what cl clearly looked like the galley. And it had uh, cooking tiles, and it had all sorts of small bowls for for soup and pots, and and then uh, not uncommon uh, on the bow you'll find anchors, lead anchors. Uh, so uh, you try to find. I'm I'm partial to the back of the ship because that's where people were, and if you were to excavate, you'd find a lot of stuff. A Byzantine is. Look at that, that bag of trash. Oh, Plastic. wow. Yeah. There. That's new. Someone parachuted in. Uh, we found, I would say, actually Both the majority of the ships we find Thank are Byzantine. You. You're really looking, just not far from here, we find a, a found a classical shipwreck that's a 1,000 years older. That yeah, was a home You're not going to want to get close to that at all. I see if see that it. is a, that's yeah, a shard. See, they tend to fail along the lines where they join them. All right, so this one's taken a, a hit or two, but this one doesn't look like uh, it's really been hammered. Some of them are so hammered, there's there's the spread out everywhere, and you don't you, you know the pile has been redistributed across the ocean floor. Yep, go for it, Alex. That's a nice shot. Don't go too far. Let's hold it right there. But we completely uh, mapped this guy uh, a couple of years ago. But we thought you might like to see an ancient shipwreck on 